it's like a race. Your four is going to be a lot better than mine, I can tell already. Oh, no, you're doing great. Okay, there we go. Uh oh. So, very stop. nice. Steve, what type of beer am I pouring? You are pouring Collaborator, <laughs> one of the two beers that we've created with uh, Bridgehead Coffee uh, as part of uh, our, I guess, tribute to Winterlude. So there's two versions. One we call Winter Brewed, and the other is Collaborator. Uh, they're both beers that we made with Bridgehead Coffee. So uh, we brought them down there actually with us during the, the brewing process and the design of the beer. They're so full of coffee, it's unbelievable. You can really taste it there. Absolutely. You can smell it, you can taste it. They're absolutely delicious. Okay, so why did you want to team up with somebody like Bridgehead? I mean, I, I would think that combining beer and coffee might not be an obvious <laughs> thing to do. Well, the, the start of it was actually that we found, found so much in common with the company. Uh, they do local, they do organic, fair trade coffee. They're such good supporters of their community. We just liked what they were doing. They didn't mind what we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> and we just got along well. And then I've had, you know, sort of stouts and porters that, that have a little bit of coffee mm -hmm. in them. But I always thought, how much fun would it be to have a coffee that was, or a beer that was ridiculously filled with coffee? Right. And so this is kind of what, what came out of that. So mine is ridiculously filled and yours is a little less so. Actually, I poured something completely different for myself. Oh, okay. For us to share. This is uh, one that we did with uh, a brewer from Great Britain. Right. We call it uh, Mates with Dates. <laughs> <laughs> mates because uh, it's a nice British word for friends, yeah. and dates because we actually put 30 kilos of dates into the beer and fermented it a second time Let's with a completely that, different yeast. A taste. How would you how would you Cheers. describe the, the flavor? The flavor is great. It's aromatically a lot of the dates come out. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, the second fermentation is with a, a Trappist Belgian yeast so you get that kind of Belgian spiciness to it mm -hmm. uh, but it finishes off almost as dry as a champagne would so you don't get that Good. that really sweet fruit beer mm -hmm. kind of flavor afterwards it just it finishes so crisp and so dry that you sit there and you really need another sip. Yeah really <laughs> yes I can definitely attest to that. Now I think it's awesome all of the people that you are teaming up with and collaborating with. Oh. I've got my Bose gear on so when you come to the brewery, you can actually check out all of the different retail pieces. But I love that you have teamed up with some different chefs to actually make uh, cooking ingredients that contain Bo's beer. Absolutely, yeah. We've uh, we've got lots of local products that incorporate the beer. We also, right from the retail shop, we also sell um, the pork products that come from the farm that uh, get supplied with our spent grains. So really, yeah. So you can uh, you can enjoy a beer paired with the animal that ate the same grain, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> the circle of life and exactly, a whole different yeah. way. Okay, so now we mentioned that there's a few other beers that you're introducing, apart from the two that we've looked at here. What are those? That's right, so we kind of went a little nuts with February, <laughs> and so we've got five different beers we're, we're bringing out this month. Uh, we, we decided to bring out our spring seasonal, Beaver River, which is a traditional India pale ale. Uh, very hoppy, very very strong beer. Uh, we brought it out a little bit earlier, uh, actually for Groundhog's Day, because mm -hmm. we figured that way we could predict when spring <laughs> came okay. perfectly. Uh, Mates with dates, the two beers for for the Bridgehead beers, yep. and then uh, the last one's going to be a version of a beer that we've already released, uh, Mr. Hyde, which is a strong rye beer that we've been aging in bourbon barrels for about six months. So very cool! I can't delicious. wait for that to come out. And keep your eyes peeled for the Patio Saison beer that we were making today. First day in summer when it's sunny and 18 degrees. You can find it on the best patios in Ottawa. Thank you so much for awesome. having us today. Awesome. High five. Come on down to Van Cleek Hill and check out Bose Brewery. What a cool place. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Our pleasure.